I got pulled into a meeting by two students. They said, go, oh, come to our APHA ASP meeting. And so I went and then I just kind of fell in love. I saw the health fairs that they were doing. I saw the opportunities for leadership within the organization. Um, and then right away, I got very involved. I went to a conference called SLI. Mm -hmm. That's where I met most of my friends and colleagues. And now it's amazing the connections I still have even four years, six years later, and it's an incredible experience. You can network and learn about provider status. My first event was a patient care event. Um, Operation Heart loved it. Um, I became the, uh, um, the patient care vice president of my chapter at Cincinnati, and it gets people excited to start doing patient care early. So for me, that's definitely the reason why I got involved. Uh, I got involved right from the start. We had a great membership drive at my, at my school, and uh, from there, it just took off. Really learn the most when I went to my first annual meeting, which was in Washington, D.C. that year. Uh, all the energy that was around meeting student pharmacists from all around the country, uh, all the patient care projects that were going on that weren't we didn't have at our chapter, I was so inspired to bring those back, bring those back home, and uh, most importantly, uh, give back uh, to our communities and the patients we serve. The opportunity to get a chance to talk with people, uh, see the opportunities where pharmacy is expanding, uh, you know, see where how APHA has helped push the profession forward. They really are on the forefront of helping us uh, shout from the rooftops about what pharmacists do in the community every day. And then I also got to go to the Summer Leadership Institute, but it was my experience at Annual that gave me those tools to go and talk with my senators. So you probably can all relate to this, but for me it's definitely the mid-year regional meeting or the MRMs. Always a great experience. I have a great time just getting to connect with student pharmacists, um, hearing about the different things that are going on in APHA, um, and it's the only conference for students, for us. So it's just a great experience to go to. Allowing student pharmacists to actually be able to publish and uh, write articles within the Student Pharmacist magazine was really, really cool to me. I do like going through the magazine and like, oh look, there's that person I know, there's that person I know. But then also it's like, oh hey, there's a school that I wasn't really familiar with and they got a really active APHA. Maybe that's something that I'm interested in for a future residency program. So I've also like taken it that way too. One of the things I like about uh, receiving the Pharmacy Today communications is being able to keep up with the profession, see what my colleagues are doing, because going to work every day, that schedule, we're not, we're not always able to stay up to date. Uh, so I appreciate giving up at those tools. The thing I love the most about Pharmacy Today, especially as you kind of can, can get the article that kind of specific to you. So I love seeing how active APHA is in the legislative process. So them been on the fighting lines, front lines, uh, and helping push our profession forward is important. And just seeing how they're tracking and, and making sure that they're keeping up with anything that could possibly impact pharmacy or, or, or pharmacists, um, I love seeing that about APHA. I didn't have much pharmacy experience before going to pharmacy school. I did some shadowing, volunteering at uh, different pharmacies and hospitals, but I used uh, APHA ASP to really get uh, all the information I could about the profession and that's what made me fall in love with it more every day. So for me personally like I liked APHA because it was the balance I needed because like the school work gets a lot like I know we get inundated with yeah. all right we got a quiz this week we got a quiz the next you know what I mean like we we're like okay we got to learn this 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 and this for me it was kind of providing that balance in my life I'm like okay I can have fun but I'm learning at exactly. the same time like I can do those patient care projects I'm helping somebody I'm learning about Operation Heart how does the heart work, yes. right? Just like the simple things. Yes, and as uh, we progress during school and able to, we're able to apply what we're learning in the classroom yes. and share that. You've got the opportunity later to actually be a better practitioner exactly. because of it. The um, leadership training series. Uh, so being able to go to those leadership training series, being able to just take one idea from that leadership training series and try to apply it within your chapter. So there's all these things on pharmacist.com that you can find and you can apply for. So just because you've got a leadership position at your school, you can continue giving back to the profession that way.